Hello and welcome to KCGC TV. Friends, in this program of Walk Through the Talk, we bring for you face to face with diverse personalities who, from various subjects, they come to us, they share their views and expertise. Uh, friends, veterinary education has become one of the most important faculty throughout the world. And uh, we have with us today Dr. P.K. Kapoor. He is a big name in the field of veterinary education. He had been a registrar, professor, director of research, and uh, throughout the country in various uh, institutions, which are the top, which are considered the top institutions in the country. Now, presently, he is a principal, Khalsa College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences at Amritsar, and we are in this beautiful campus of Khalsa College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences. We will be talking to him on various subjects, on various issues which are confronting the veterinary education, veterinary research, and animal care. As you know, the animal care and treatment is also increasingly becoming important in today's lifestyle. So, Dr. Kapoor, thank you so much and welcome to the show. So, good morning, first of all, and uh, myself, Dr. P.K. Kapoor. Uh, presently, I am working as principal Khalsa Veterinary College and uh, just uh, recently I joined uh, in the month of September. Earlier, I was a uh, registrar in Bihar Animal Science University, Patna. And before that, uh, I retired from uh, Lala Lajpat Rai Veterinary University, Hisar, where I has served as uh, Director Research, Controller, Head of the Department, and uh, also I had the responsibility of one very important facility in that university that is Disease Free Small Animal House. Now, uh, I started my career from Rajasthan. I graduated from Bikaner College of Veterinary Sciences. Post graduation also I did from same veterinary college in veterinary public health and epidemiology. Right. And then I joined in Rajasthan government as veterinary assistant surgeon and I got the responsibility of uh, Rinderpest eradication scheme which is very important topic that this is the disease in veterinary uh, animal uh, diseases which we have eradicated from India. Okay. So uh, I was fortunate that uh, I got this chance and I served as uh, in charge check post at uh, Nimbahada near Chittorgad and near MP border. Wonderful. So, so long experience uh, in veterinary education. Dr. Sir, uh, what is the state of uh, veterinary education today? Uh, why and how do you think it's becoming increasingly important uh, faculty in education? So when I did my BVS and AS at that time, veterinary course was of four years. Okay. So I was, uh, or uh, at that time, uh, the students were getting the hospital practice during the four years period itself. Later on, when uh, in uh, 80s, when Veterinary Council of India constituted, then the uniform uh, course curriculum has been created by the Veterinary Council of India. And due to this VCI only, that now we are having uniform syllabus all over India for undergraduation and uh, Veterinary Council of India also doing that uh, admission procedure for 15% seats in all the colleges which are available in. At present we are having 47 veterinary colleges all in India. all over India and in Punjab we are having three veterinary colleges and uh, first uh, that is uh, uh, oldest college of Punjab is Ludhiana where now Guru Nanak Dev uh, University, uh, Guru Angad Dev okay. University is there and uh, there Ludhiana College is there. And uh, later on second college of this Khalsa Veterinary College which is a first private veterinary college in Punjab. In Punjab. Ah. So, uh, uh, how many courses are there in this college and uh, uh, what are the career prospects when it comes to veterinary education? What course are you are offering here? Yeah. So in our, we are uh, offering only undergraduate courses, that is graduation BBSc and AH, that is Bachelor of Veterinary Science and uh, Animal Husbandry degree. And here we are uh, 
now at present we are having five and half year course okay. because uh, in that veterinary council of india in 2016 they have revised their curriculum and syllabus and the minimum standard of veterinary education also right. so in that uh, way now we are also having a five and half year course in which uh, four and half year we are having the courses theory courses as well as the practical courses uh, and uh, first two years we are giving the stress on the basic uh veterinary courses yeah. that is anatomy physiology pathology and all these things okay. and uh, animal breeding then uh, livestock production all these courses in first and second year yeah. and third year we are giving more stress to the paraclinical courses okay. paraclinical courses means that they are bridging between the clinical and basic okay. courses so there is practical yeah college practical college so one year we are doing this para veterinary courses right. in which we are doing this microbiology pathology veterinary public health all these courses are there yeah. then last uh, two years and uh, last one year that is we are giving more stress towards the clinical cases so clinical uh, courses how many veterinarian you have produced and uh, uh, what the career prospects this uh, after this this getting a degree uh, actually this college started in 2010 that is khalsa veterinary college okay. and uh, we were having the 60 seats okay. uh, uh, admission capacity okay. now, now this year we have increased to 80 okay. so 20 seats we have increased this year so we are going to uh, have the admission of 80 students this time and till date uh, uh, i think four or five hs we have already gone out and uh, in this way we uh, approximately 300 veterinarians we have, have produced. produced and uh, all are uh, absorbed nobody is free uh, somebody um, many of the st- our students okay. they have done pg and phd and they are serving in this college itself okay yeah as a assistant professor <laughs> <coughs> and so uh, i heard that uh, there is a 100% placement yeah. is it true yeah so uh, at least this science is having very good scope okay. in government as well as private right. organization right. in government uh, the state government is absorbing as veterinary assistant surgeons then in the state government also dairy federation is there here in verka <coughs> that uh, milk fed is there okay. where uh, students are absorbed after uh, getting the bvsc and ds degree yeah. so uh, then uh, many disease diagnostic laboratories are also there of government yeah. like uh, regional uh, diagnostic lab is there in jalandhar yeah. and similarly in government also that uh, army even remote veterinary corps is also yeah, there yeah. where veterinarian can have the good prospects uh, sir, and there are so many avenues yeah even uh, uh, indo uh, this uh, bsf also okay. and that is they are also taking because they are having horses dogs and all these things so yes. for that care of these animals uh, so uh, veterinarians are absorbed in that about animals Dr. Yeah. Sir, uh, this is one of my favorite subject also animal care and treatment it is becoming one of the most important vital faculty today and uh, it's bec- more and more pets are being owned these days what do you suggest to the pet owners uh, how they should take care especially in this uh, uh, season when we are getting uh, uh, weather is becoming inclement and uh, there will be more and more diseases and taking care of animals is becoming more difficult so how here do you suggest to uh, pet owners here uh, i would like to mention here that uh, veterinary science animal husbandry has a very important role not only for farmers but also uh, people also yeah. those who are uh, uh, owning this pet animals because uh, uh, as we know that uh, as far as the agriculture production is concerned yeah. now it is a at uh, uh, you can say satisfactory level yes. now there is no increase because the lands are coming short and short is squeezing is there yeah. and uh, farmers if they are not able to get the proper earning during uh, his farming business yeah. then this is the only that animal farming if they are doing that yeah. Yeah. yeah so this uh, animal farming or uh, having the animal husbandry yeah. simultaneously with the agriculture along with just like now fishery is also coming up yeah. that sector is also coming up so this type of the sector is doing buffer 
system okay. and even we can say because if we are having the suppose uh, some of the goats are there oh. and some of the dairy animals are there oh. so we can sell the um, milk and then we can sell the animals when the governments are also serious yeah. uh, they are saying that uh, the income of the farmers yeah. be it the state government be it the central government yeah. they are saying that income of the farmer has to increase, increase. and this is the way this is the way this is, this the, is way. the way that if we have the integration of uh -huh. the farming system uh -huh. agriculture as well as animal husbandry as well as fisheries uh -huh. and all these things that poultry farming is also uh -huh. a very good sector uh, which is giving a very good income to the farmers yeah. uh, so uh, in private sector also uh, veterinarians are having the good scope okay. uh, just like uh, they are having uh, good f animal feed factories are there right. then uh, pharmaceutical companies are there yeah, yeah. and uh, <coughs> veterinarians can go there it's and have the sector. goods. Growing sector. Yeah. So it's a vast uh, yeah. uh, scope is there uh -huh. for the veterinarians. Uh -huh. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, after graduation, uh -huh. students can have the post graduation uh -huh. in master degree as well as PhD degree. Can go into yeah. Then ICR and, and this uh, agriculture scientist recruitment uh -huh. board is there. Uh -huh. They are recruiting the scientist uh -huh. after MVSC. Uh -huh post graduation so people can go uh, in the research also yeah. so research uh, as we know that uh, whatever research we are doing uh, that's why this animal welfare question is also coming Wonderful. Due, due to research uh, for the research only because everything now this uh, uh, corona issue is going on yeah. where the, we are waiting uh, good vaccine so uh, first we have to uh, test these vaccines or the oh, any okay. pharmaceutical oh, yes. in on the lab, lab animals uh, lab animals oh, so it's a because uh, in we can say that apni jaan gawa kar ke ye jaan bachate hain these are the small animals like lab animals like rats mice rabbits guinea pigs and all the scientists they are doing this yeah so they are testing first uh, vaccine on these animals yes. seeing the protection of the vaccine and even some uh, uh, drug molecule is invented we are also seeing the uh, action and pharmaceutical reactions on these animals okay. so this way there is vast scope and as you have mentioned very correctly that uh, now prime minister is also giving stress on that we have to double the income of the farmers so this is the only way that if we are uh, having the farming system and we can increase uh, this system and farming system also we have to train oh. skill development is there so we, in that skill development also we have to train some of the <coughs> we can say less educated people yes. less educated people yes. that the like artificial insemination yeah. there is very right. uh, crucial role in that because animal production is, is, there, is there any education like a diploma or uh, yeah. some uh, courses for them yeah so that they after matric and plus 2 there are 2 years diploma courses okay. many state governments they are uh, uh, we are offering uh, in punjab also uh, in punjab also one of the private college and in this ludhiana okay. university also also. So they are doing this veterinary livestock diploma course. Okay. So their two years uh, program is there. There they can get the uh, uh, good practice there and uh, they can help in the maintaining the animal health in the at farm level also and the village level also. Okay. So so, our only secretary is Jindamohan Singh Shina who was the brain behind uh, to this build this college in 2010. He was saying one day and I found it very interesting. He said that uh, job of the veterinary doctor is uh, very challenging and very difficult. Why? Because when we humans go to the doctor, we are able to tell the doctor that we are feeling pain, we are uh, have some complications uh, uh, in our body, but animals can't say that. So you are uh, raising very correct point because uh, as we know that these are the speechless animals. Yeah. Eh? Only owner can give some of the history that such type of uh, history we can get. Yeah. Just like in medical science, mm. that pediatrics is the toughest science. Yeah. That bacha mm. jo hai. Yes. In child also, yeah. if we want to treat, only parents can give the some of the some signs, indications, yeah. some indications, <laughs> and then uh, doctor has to diagnose, yeah. and he has to get. Similarly, veterinary science is also very. Moreover, in veterinary science, we are uh, learning so many species. Yeah. 
domestic wild animals, wild pet animals, mm -hmm. then even wild animals also we are doing. Mm -hmm. So this way, then wild animals, this zoo and also having the scope of uh, um, absorbing the veterinarians. Wonderful. What is the? Uh, how can we make the people more aware about, uh, as you said, the farmers especially, then the pet owners, uh, to take care of their uh, uh, pet or animals through professional advice instead of uh, just pehle chalta tha na ke kar liye kar liye wo nahi hon now nowadays farmer is very educated uh, because now uh, literacy is increasing yeah. no, no illiteracy now in this farmers are very educated also so they know how to google <laughs> and they will get the information from. So nowadays, veterinarians have the many challenges that they must have the good practice, good skill and good knowledge yeah. and good attitude also. Because we have to treat not only the animals as well as animal owner also. So yeah, yeah. that's why. So if we are uh, doing this practice, then some of the continuous veterinary education program is also there. Yeah. That some of the old veterinarians, they have graduated long back. Okay. So this uh, Veterinary Council of India, they are supporting all veterinary institutions okay. to have the continuous veterinary education. So they are training, they are having the short courses, refresher courses also. Yeah. So through that, yeah. they can have uh, updation of their knowledge yeah. and they can and this are there. Sir, as far as uh, uh, research in veterinary education, vet veterinary field is concerned, where do we stand as far as India is concerned, vis-a-vis -vis the world? Mm -hmm. uh, do we have enough infrastructure, do we have enough manpower or laboratory infrastructure to cope up with the research level that is being taken up around uh, the world? Definitely, we are doing uh, very good work okay. in veterinary and animal science, okay. in uh, disease investigation, uh, disease diagnosis, we uh, diagnostic. Yeah, we, we, are, we are having, uh, uh, as I told, that 47 institutions yeah. are there, uh, veterinary college. That's a good number. And, uh, yeah, and uh, about uh, um, more than 20 uh, veterinary, uh, about 20 universities are also there. And uh, similarly, we are also having uh, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. Yeah. In that one division is there, animal husbandry division is there, which is focusing on the research. So they are doing good research in uh, uh, institutions, like uh, we are having CIRB, that's uh, institution, uh, Buffalo Research Institution. Similarly, we are also having equine research institutions, then uh, cattle research institutions. Similarly, uh, all species we are having the specialized veterinary institution and under ICR. So ICR is having education division also. They are doing uh, and monitoring uh, this uh, postgraduate education. Uh, at the level of ICR. Just like Veterinary Council of India yeah, yeah. monitoring at undergraduate level, so ICR is monitoring PG level as well as PhD. Yeah, another so, level. Another level, <laughs> that's, yeah. So for research also. Research also. Yeah. So we are doing good research also. Yeah. Our uh, uh, special uh, disease diagnostic lab is there. Uh, at Bhopal is also there. Uh, they are good, doing good work yeah. and uh, and another uh, important field which uh, we i must mention that genosis genotic disease that some of the some are some diseases are there which are communicable from animals to human beings and which is very important field just like uh, rabies rabies so uh, in this uh, to give the more attention mm -hmm. we are celebrating world rabies day mm -hmm. every year yeah. in the month of september yeah. uh, similarly we are uh, celebrating world junosis day mm -hmm. uh, then uh, world veterinary day in the april okay. so to give the attention or to attract the attention of uh, our uh, we can say that uh, small uh, uh, students that they are doing metric and plus two, so they must know what is veterinary education. So what veterinary day we are also celebrating. So in this way we are doing our uh, good. Uh, what facility do you have in this yeah. college here? And so, uh, how is the infrastructure? This college started in 2010 okay. and uh, as per uh, VCI mandate, because minimum standard of uh, veterinary education regulations are there. So to uh, fulfill that, 
regulation we are having 17 departments uh, of uh, various uh, uh, subjects and in addition to 17 and all these departments are well equipped with the well uh, good facilities laboratory facilities for practical training of uh, these students right. then simultaneously we are also having livestock farm complex okay. there we are having a small dairy herd goat farm piggeries poultry and these are also we are have to so that we can so so that we can train our students about these uh, farm practices well equipped hospital also yeah and that is very important that is the mirror of our college okay. said we are giving the services to the so owners yeah. uh, of the animals large animals as well as small animals mm -hmm. so, so any animal can be treated at yeah, the hospital yeah 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 all any From large and yeah yeah <laughs> even sometimes uh, wild animals okay. also we have to go uh, to zoo and we have to provide okay. the uh, this uh, treatment facilities right. and sometimes and even lab animals now they are uh, having as pet like hamsters uh, rabbits okay. they are also coming for the treatment mm -hmm. so our uh, veterinary hospital is well equipped yeah. all clinical departments are there mm. that is surgery medicine gynecology mm. and uh, one veterinary clinical complex is there so we have developed all facilities for diagnosis, treatment, operation theatres are there, well equipped operation theatres are there and we are doing very good surgeries daily for pet animals as well as large animals. But like last question, stray yeah. animals is it becoming a very, very Yeah, very experience. good, very good point. And uh, how veterinarian doctors and you as educationist would suggest and how, what steps can we take to, to stem this uh, trend of stray animals? But stray animals is a really big problem in uh, every uh, city. Right. And, uh, so, like because uh, we are fanatic persons, we are religious persons, we are not uh, uh, recommending that uh, all the animals for slaughter. So, like uh, <coughs> cows, we are having some cow shalas are there, go shala is there. So there we are transferring these animals and... Uh, those are not sufficient. Uh, sufficient, but uh, we have to be more... Uh, uh, give, we have to give more attention, attention. towards these uh, stray Similar animals. Similarly, dogs. dogs also. Yeah. And because uh, rabies incidence uh, is there, more than 35,000 deaths are doing... Uh, and deaths are occurring uh, every year. And sir, it's inhuman, like dogs uh, getting mowed down by the cars. They are... we see them... Uh, uh, Roaming yeah, around on roam, the roads and, and they get that, killed. That, that killed and, uh, but they are uh, even uh, dangerous for the accident also. Accident also yeah. Because car is they getting many yeah, many accidents. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we can have this uh, birth control. Okay. This is that uh, ABC program. Yeah. That yeah. Uh, animal welfare board is there. Right. Uh, that uh, central government has created animal welfare board. Yeah. Under this animal welfare board, many welfare schemes are going on to take care of all these stray animals, dogs, birth control. Similarly, they are also having one important committee that is a CPCSEA. That is the committee for the performance of experiments on animals. They are watching that we cannot do uh, uh, that uh, without any justification, the experiment. Yeah. We must justify that how this experiment is going to be benefited towards human health. Okay. So then only this CPCAC yes. or Institutional Animal Ethics Committee is there yeah. in every institute. These are the legal requirements that we must have. Wonderful. Similarly for environment, nowadays One Health program is very important, getting the importance. So for this One Health also, veterinary science is important, environment science is important and medical science is important. Wonderful. Medical science and veterinary science is very important. So this was Dr. Kapoor, he shared his expertise, his views. And we had a vital, very important discussion today. Hope my views will like it. Please subscribe to the KCGC TV. And uh, thank you so much, Dr. Sir. Thank you very much, Great Dr. Dr. Sir. Thank so you. nice of you. Thank you, sir. And thank you. I'm thank you. really happy to share my <laughs> views. Thank you, Thank you, thank you very much.